I've decided that after turning professional at 17 years old, I'm going to be playing my last game down in Dominican Republic for professional football. It's been in the making for a couple years now. Um, found, not my love, but it was a smile on my face back here at Forge. It was a struggle before that with my injury and, and whatnot, but I proved a lot to myself that I could keep going after my injury. And I think just the way everything's going, it's, it's the right time now. While I'm still looking after my body uh, day to day and, and putting everything I have into to being a professional on the field, it's tough to do that. And I'm really looking forward to that next stage of my career. And, and which, which is to me uh, be, becoming a coach. For me, I've just got a massive passion to, to help Canadian football become what it can be uh, on a global level. Uh, and if I can play any part in that, uh, I could, uh, I'll be a very happy man. I mean, if I played a small part in it being a player, uh, but I feel like I can make more of a difference now off the field. I think the stars kind of aligned when I, when I had the opportunity to come here and I, and I had the meeting with Bobby. Um, I had I just had a spell in England. Uh, I had a, I had something to prove, sort of myself, going back to England after after leaving abruptly to, to come to the MLS, um, and then the injury. So I, I had a, I had some unfinished business business there, and the, and the plan was eventually I would love to to sort of see what this league was about. But it happened probably sooner than than I'd thought, and you know I could things happen. I'm a big believer things happen for a reason, and. Uh, from the minute I stepped in the door, I knew I'd made the right decision. I, in fact, driving through, driving over Highway 6 from Kitchener, I knew I'd made the right decision. It's just, I was home, and I had found a home finally in football. It's, to, to go back to back, I think that, this, that was really, really special, and, and the, the amount of effort I know I personally uh, and sacrifice put into the PEI um, and the boys to, to win that. I think, I think I almost knew when that final whistle went that that was, it was close to the end, so, but yeah, it's, it just means so much to, to, to have some silverware at the end of this, at the end of this crazy career that, that is being a professional footballer, and, it, and for it to be so fresh at the end, uh, it's, it's pretty special, and hopefully we can create more history. I'd be lying if I said being away from the family so much has not played a part in, in my decision. Um, got a seven-year-old who, for a long period of her life, we've spent time apart, not being in England and going away in internationals and, and whatnot. So she deserves her dad at home. I mean, the coaching side of it will take me a lot, a lot of places, hopefully, but we're excited for the ride as a family and, and we're excited to, to start this journey together. I, I know it's the right time because I have the same passion and the same energy and the same drive as a 10 year old David Edgar with Newcastle United bed sheets and a ball and a wall. I've got that same drive to, to be successful as a manager and to be successful for Canadian football. So it's an excitement. This isn't a, a sadness. It's, it's an excitement 